Today, we're diving deep into the age-old debate of Stoicism versus Epicureanism, two ancient philosophies that offer different paths to the pursuit of happiness. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of these philosophies and how they can impact your life. Stoicism, a philosophy born in the bustling markets of Athens, suggests that true happiness comes from within, from the mastery of one's emotions and acceptance of life as it is. Stoicism teaches that we have no control over the world around us, only over our reactions to it. It encourages us to accept life's challenges with equanimity and to find contentment in fulfilling our duties without being swayed by our emotions. On the other hand, Epicureanism, founded in the tranquil gardens of Epicurus, asserts that the highest good is pleasure, specifically the absence of pain and disturbance. It's not about indulging in hedonistic excesses, but rather about achieving a state of tranquility and freedom from fear, often through intellectual pursuits and the company of friends. While both philosophies seek the same end goal, happiness, their approaches differ greatly. Stoicism finds happiness in acceptance and control over one's internal state regardless of external circumstances. It values virtue as the highest good and believes that we can achieve peace by understanding the natural order of the universe and our place within it. Epicureanism, however, seeks happiness through the pursuit of measured pleasures and the avoidance of pain. It suggests that we can achieve tranquility by satisfying our basic needs, cultivating friendships, and pursuing knowledge. Yet it's worth noting that both philosophies share a common thread the importance of understanding our own nature and the nature of the universe. Both advocate for a life of moderation, wisdom, and introspection. So in the grand debate of Stoicism versus Epicureanism, which philosophy holds the key to happiness? That perhaps is a question best left for each individual to answer, based on their own experiences and introspections. In summary, Stoicism teaches that happiness comes from within, from mastering our emotions and accepting the world as it is. Epicureanism, on the other hand, suggests that happiness comes from the pursuit of pleasurable experiences, particularly those that help us avoid pain and disturbance. Two philosophies, two paths to happiness. Yet, both agree on the importance of understanding ourselves and the world around us. Perhaps the key to happiness lies not in choosing one philosophy over the other, but in finding a balance that suits our individual needs and perspectives. After all, as the ancient philosophers knew well, the pursuit of happiness is a journey, not a destination. And perhaps, just perhaps, the secrets to that journey lie in the wisdom of both the Stoic marketplace and the Epicurean garden.